Hello everyone, uh, my name is Jay Poole, I'm with the Livesy Group. This is a training video for Nuance Power PDF. Um, this is a product that's real comparable to Adobe Acrobat, so I think you'll like it, but it has a much better price point. Uh, so, let's jump in. So I'm in a standard PDF right now, and the main thing I like to start with is this a document assembly button. So here I'm able to you know, move pages around, uh, I can delete pages, I can insert, and I actually have the ability to insert all different kinds of files. So I can go grab Excel, Word document, hit open. It's going to print it in the background. And it's going to bring up a utility for asking me where I want to put it. So here's the two documents. You can see right there. I can say after last page. OK. And then there they are. Well, I didn't actually want this page to come up, so I'm going to go delete that one. Uh, so a lot of neat things you can do. Um, so you know, if I want to add this to maybe into there, very quickly I can merge documents and just really work with them in PDF form. Uh, so that's the document assembly button. Really good for moving in and out and doing things like that. So next, uh, here you can if you have a USB scanner. You can hook up that and you can um, scan directly into the software. Uh, here you're able to make your document OCR searchable, so that way you can find the word anywhere in it. Um, here you're able to reduce the file size, so remember those times when you, you know, weren't able to email a document, you're able to do that with this. Um, next, kind of the big thing is under edit. So you've got this typewriter. What the typewriter allows you to do is type anywhere on the document, so just like it's in a real typewriter. Um, edit object is a neat one, so this document was created electronically and turn a PDF so it's still got some of its elements so you're able to go in here and as long as it has the font it's going to say warning it's not available but it'll try to find one close and if it is able to find one close you can make little spot changes like so pricing change or something like that um, or you're actually able to get rid of some of the contents so maybe I didn't like those dashes being in there uh, you can actually get rid of those which is kind of neat and that's edit object right there um, the next tab, you've got a lot of different view things, reviewing pages and whatnot. Uh, and then followed by the comment, which is what I use a lot of the time. So you get this text box here, which is kind of like a, I like to call a white out and write over. So I'm able to type. Uh, and it whites out what's behind it. Uh, I can go in there and change the background color. Um, I can go into properties, I can change the font, I can do all kinds of things really make the edit the way I want it to look. Um, next thing that's kind of big is highlight area. So if I want to show pricing or something like that, there it is right there. Uh, draw tools, you can draw all kinds of things. You draw an arrow. Um, then my favorite, I have rectangle set to a whiteout box. So maybe I don't want them to see that. I can actually hide that from them. Um, lastly on this page is stamps. Premium. Got some standard ones like the approved, or my favorite. I've got my signature in here. And if you notice, it actually can go over the line. It doesn't white out everything, which is nice. Um, under advanced processing, we have some cool things. Flatten files. What this does is it makes all these changes that I've done permanent, so no one else can can change them. So remember where I white out of this? I can no longer do anything with that. My signature is permanent. This stamp's permanent. Everything's been flattened. One thing to keep in mind, though, if it's permanent for you, it's, uh, I mean, it's permanent for them, it's also permanent for you. Um, there's also clip art in here as well. Uh, I'm not sure if you've used that, but it is there. Um, let's see, other things. And let me go back, close this real quick. So a lot of people like to convert things. So now you have the ability within the software, you advanced processing the converter, and do the whole document. And then I can pick you know, Word document. Some people you usually use Word Perfect. Um, Excel, if it still has, if it has definite lines on it, we will use Excel. Uh -huh. Or of course PowerPoint, oh, just rich text format. Uh -huh. so I'm gonna do a Word document never and I'm start that up. And so there it is. Now it's a standard Word document. I can go in there and make my edits. If it's real graphic intensive, you'll have some errors, but this one's real text heavy, so it does a really good job on that. 
It looks like it's project again, the paper deck. Um, on here, there's also security. You can get it from here okay. or from this way. So uh, this is if you've ever received a password protected document. You can do that same thing. You can send a password document as well. Uh, you just double click here okay. and you're so able to, to put your password on there. And you can you know, decide which compatibility. This is all Adobe kind of stuff here. Um, so the last thing I'd show is forms. So I could go on here and you know, draw a text box, give it a name. And then someone could go in here and type in this. Uh, my favorite thing, we'll close the software. We'll open up the sample form. So this was sent to me, and nothing's fillable. And I want to make it fillable so that other people can fill it, and I can when I need to. So I'm going to look at the forms, form typer. Let me highlight the fields. Now you can see. Now these are actual form fields. That was very simple. What it's looking for is those lines. And I'm not going to put some fill over it. So that way you can easily make a form in Word or something like that and turn it into a fillable PDF, which is pretty neat. Um, it does offer, also offer some connectors. So you can connect to Dropbox, Evernote. I think it has a couple more. Uh, if you're interested, uh, we can definitely look into that more. Um, but that's pretty much it. Any other issues you have, you can always go to this right here and go online or offline. And then it's going to bring up. Uh, ton of information. You can find anything from converting to editing, you know, comments. How do I add a text box? It's going to take you through all the different options you have, so it's pretty neat there. Yeah, I wouldn't either. Um, but that's PowerPDF. Uh, any questions you have, please let us know. We hope you like it. Thanks.